What is going on guys? Welcome to another Bass Daily Vlog. Today is the first day of summer actually. I just got my cap and gown today and graduation's on Sunday and then I'm fishing every day. But we're just gonna get a vlog out. There was a vlog out uh, at 12 o'clock uh, yesterday. That was a pretty good one, so go check it out. I actually caught a smallmouth in that, which is uh, pretty rare for out here. But we're just gonna try to get on some fish, relax, you know? School's over, summer throwback, just chill session. Maybe catch a couple five pounders and it'll be a good day. Let's get on it. There's one. Pop that right out. I mean, not a bad, not a horrible, not a horrible way to get a bite though. It's fun when you're fishing these uh, Carolina rigs because you're dragging, you're feeling hard bottom, and then your rod will kind of load up a little bit and it'll kind of go away from you. You'll feel some thumps, and then you can catch some big ones on it too. It's just they weren't eating the jig. I think it was because they're too small. So I'm gonna keep throwing the Carolina rig for a little bit, see if I can upgrade. better one 13 and a half nope real little guy I'm I'm pretty much getting to bite every cast but I think my problem is right now is I gotta find some big ones. Nobody wants to see a vlog where I set a hook into a million little dinks. Boom, shakalaka. There's a solid one. I can barely hold her, she's so green, but on that Carolina rig, catches big ones too. Got him. Here's the bait of choice. I just watched that fish just come over and just absolutely destroy it. Just a little guy, but he choked it immediately. <laughs> That's what's up, boys. It's a little keeper smallmouth. Pretty good, pretty good looking one too. She scared me. Two small mouths, back to back vlogs. That's pretty cool. That's a decent one there. As far as small mouth going, Oxbow, let's get it right back. Small mouth on a Carolina rig. This is a seven foot medium, so. I had to fight her a little bit, which is always fun, you know. Alrighty guys, it's uh, it's 12.52, about one o'clock. Let's go back to the dock and do a little recap on today's vlog. Well guys, to wrap up the day, it was all about the ball and chain. Um, I don't rig mine any different from anybody else. I'm sure a lot of people do it the same exact way. Using the weight, which is a, this is a half, it's a half or a quarter, something like that. Uh, bead, and then a little swivel, and your four out round bend. I don't really like the EWGs. I feel like you pull the bait out of their mouth a lot more than you get the hook in, actually in there. But uh, I like this setup. This is a seven foot uh, medium and a, uh, this is a high speed reel. This is the, uh, the old pro qualifier if you guys have ever seen those before. Damn great. This setup, um, it can do pretty much anything, but I like to use it for uh, Carolina rigs or uh, Texas rigs, things like that. But I'm using 12 pound, uh, I'm using 12 pound of Vizex on this setup. In the beta choice today, was the, the chigger craw, but the uh, the crazy leg chigger craw, green pumpkin colored, 
it's just everything moves on it when it's down there, you know, moving around. So it works out. Berkeley uh, Ch Crazy Leg Trigger Crawl. That was the deal. I'm sure they would have ate anything else, but this thing just moves a lot when it's in the water. It puts just moves a lot of water, and that's why I liked it out deep, so those fish can find it a little bit easier. And the water's pretty warm, high 70s, so they'll eat it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.